My name is Carter Cleveland, and I'm the founder and CEO of Artsy. Artsy's mission is to make all the world's art freely accessible to anyone with an internet connection. In the next couple of weeks, the site will be launched publicly, and that will be almost four years exactly from when I started working on it in my dorm room. And what I actually started doing was working towards this business plan competition at Princeton. I got second place, and from that we got money and free office space in Silicon Valley. After two years, we were running out of money. When you have so little money, it's great to be able to not have to pay rent and get to live with your parents. So it was nice to come back to New York. Also, you know, the art world is in New York City. I think the main way that Artsy innovates is taking all the world's most beautiful art and putting it on a platform that brings together the highest standards of design. We really think of Artsy as a digital temple to art. Every artwork and artist has a genome, and basically a genome places the artwork within its art historical context. And so it kind of leads you down this serendipitous discovery experience, but the whole time you're learning. And that's kind of the premise of Artsy in itself, that you actually are learning through looking. Some of it is for sale and is with our commercial gallery partners. Some of it is not for sale and some of it will never be for sale. Some of it are most iconic works in history. Wendy Murdoch and Dasha Zakova are far more than investors. The real value they provide is that in the art world, one of the major challenges is working with galleries, museums, estates, and having them really trust you and trust your platform. Artsy is an American-made company because everyone's part of this culture where you want to see people rise up. I mean, being able to kind of reach out to people and be so in love with something and have them see the potential in that, it's so ingrained in our culture, a culture of trying to do impossible things and, and somehow making them possible.